My dear friends in Jesus Christ, before I begin my homily or reflection, I would like you to imagine now something that is frightening. If we were to die tomorrow, if we knew last night or rather tonight will be the last night on earth. How do you treat your family and your friends? What would you do this evening? I'm sure most of us will want our family and friends to remember us fondly. We want our family and friends to remember us in their prayers, offering masses for our souls and give alms and do works of charity in remembering us. Jesus too, at the Last Supper, makes his final or farewell speech, knowing his suffering and death on the cross and in which he expects his beloved apostles to remember him, remember him. It is not just remembering as we do sometimes by erecting statues every nook and corner and etc and etc. It is not just remembering. He wants them to remember him in their hearts as a living memory. In the gospel today we heard at the Last Supper, as he was talking to them, perhaps his last speech, he rose. He removed his outer garments and wore a towel around his waist, took a basin of water and began to wash the feet of his disciples and to dry them with the towel that he was wearing. Why did he do that, my dear friends? Why did you do that? Is it to show that he is very humble, there is humility as leader and master? Is it to say that I came to serve, not to be served? by washing their feet. Jesus wanted to make his home in their hearts, primarily as a living memory. You remember me as the living memory because you are to carry that living memory to the world. Some time back, when I was preaching a mission in a particular parish, an incident that took place questioned my own conscience. As I was visiting from one house to the another, inviting people for our mission,
One particular child, a cute child boy, shouted, saying to his mother, 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 Jesus is coming to our house. As I approached the child, I told him, Go and tell your mother, Father has come. Later that evening, my response to the child made me to think twice about my own reply to that child. I thought the child said the right thing, but not me. I am supposed to carry and take the living memory of Jesus to God's people. I am called to become another Christ to God's people. What that child said is the right thing, but not me, I thought. Sometimes you and I, like Pete at the Last Supper, refuse Jesus to wash our feet. In other words, we are reluctant allowing Jesus to make his home in our hearts as a living memory. Because living memory of Jesus is very much challenging and demanding. The living memory of Jesus can prick our conscience and can question the way we live our Christian life. Sometimes some of us do think, limit and restrict. Christian calling within four walls of this church within these four walls of this church, our Christian calling. We leave behind the living memory of Jesus here and go and continue living in sin. The living memory of Jesus challenges our unjust ways of living Especially when we make money, wealth, and riches against our own conscience and Christian values. The living memory of Jesus makes us feel ashamed of our hypocrisy and the face masks we are wearing. Especially when we fail to live the commandment of love and mercy that Jesus offered us at the Last Supper. The living memory of Jesus questions always our empty rituals and hard-heartedness of Christian community. When we fail to recognize and see the struggles, sufferings of our brothers and sisters, when we become so indifferent to the needs of the poor and the needy in our society. My dear friends, at the Last Supper, Jesus took bread and said, This is my body. He took wine and said, This is my blood. Take it, eat and drink. Unless you eat and drink, you have no life in you. In the Gospel of 
John chapter 6 verses 53 onwards he said very truly I tell you unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you have no life in you those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life so I will raise them up on the last day my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them in the Gospel of John Jesus says that we are here believing and trusting here is a life giving bread of life because Jesus said I'm the bread of life we are going to eat his body so that we will be strengthened by Jesus we are going to drink his blood so that our sins will be washed away so that you and I can become the real true living memory of Jesus not only to ourselves that living memory but to carry and take the living memory of Jesus that we receive to our brothers and sisters in our society and enter into the experience St. Paul had it is not I who live in me but Jesus lives in me let this be our prayer during this Holy Eucharist in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen